I started, you know, working at a very young age. I mean, I always drew as uh, far as I can remember. I had a camera all the time. Various design work. I designed sculptures. I designed sets. I was an urban designer. You know, I was constantly working in actual space with elements. Yeah, art can be, and it should be, it's like kind of riding a kind of a untamed uh, a horse that you really like, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, that can throw you off and take you and have no control of it. What was your dad like? Pretty groovy guy. Yeah? He was an officer and gentleman. He's right here. Boom. <laughs> you want a guy with a big fucking sword? <laughs> Look at it. Hey, baby, don't fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, he was an officer, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he was a border guard yeah. during the Second World War. He had a section of the border between uh, Russia and Hungary during the war, you know. And yeah. I was born up in the Carpathia Mountains. Yes, I grew up in Hungary uh, in various cities. This this is during the war, you know, as uh, Europe was and after the war, kind of people had to move around. It was uh, everything was basically kind of really fucked up and screwed up, and you know a lot of people were displaced. It's just like now. I remember my uh, one of my teachers very much that he. You know, he showed me how to uh, paint. I think I must have been maybe seven or something, or eight. We went, uh, the class went on a small field trip, and he introduced me to watercolors. And that was like, I'll never, that, that was like, uh, you know, some sort of a little bingo, bingo, bango, you know, you get the, like a moment where you kind of realize? Yeah, like the, the, something hits you over the head a little bit, kind of. So, uh, my first grade here in Winnipeg was uh, grade eight. Okay. And uh, that was a St. Mary's school. There I am. And this is my poster. And it says, God speaks. This was a Catholic school, eh? Uh, nuns. This is a... Uh, Barely a year after when I came out as a refugee from Europe. And uh, one of the, the, the nuns, Sister Kevin Mary, realized that I had a talent. And she allowed me to draw just on the back board. And uh, it's like a, you know, a story out of us. And, and, and uh, anyways, you know, after that I decided yeah, I'm gonna go to fine arts. I was having exhibitions all over the place. Two exhibitions in Paris, Budapest, LA, Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. I never used a model. Only uh, The only model I ever seen was in the art school. So they're not, they're not models, are they lovers? <laughs> they're partners? Well, that's, uh, you know, my business, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I don't know, and you don't know either. <laughs> and this is your, your one of your girlfriends? No, no, no. She's uh, she was my uh, uh, she was my uh, what do, what do, would I call her? My Pygmalion. 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 Yeah. What does that mean? Well, it's the like a muse. A project in a sense, you know. I met him at uh, the city of Winnipeg, 100 Main Street. We were both working there. there. He was um, doing what he does, um, designer of parks, and uh, I was working in the drafting department, filing. And we met there. Did you just like ask her out or what happened? Well, uh, we became friends and uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then we, uh, you know, became very good friends. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's charismatic. He has a flair, fashion sense, and and you know his accent. He's from Hungary. He's you know very debonair and smart. So I was I was in awe of him, of course. 
and uh, I guess he liked me because I was young and beautiful and funny and you know so I became his muse and he became my Svengali. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I guided her career a little bit, uh, you know, got her into the theater. Yeah, well, the effect that he, that I have from him is my career. I was floundering. I didn't know, I had no idea that I could be an artist or a designer. And he brought that out in me and yeah, I'm forever, forever grateful. The self is only that which is in the process of becoming. You guys get that one? Hmm. Okay, that again. I'll read it to you again. The self is only that which is in the process of becoming. So which means that what, whatever you're doing now, you're doing it and you're becoming what you are. You know what I mean? You're becoming by doing what you're doing. You know you're becoming yourself. Boom. <laughs>